Supreme are at it again. They have another perfect war under their belts. And this time, it wasn't just the big boys that came to play. The little babies had something to say. Let's have a look at how they did. First attacker is the one and only Happy. And it's a Town Hall 12 Bow Witch Bats attack. Now, that's it's not quite Witch Slap. Uh, it's not quite Bow Witch. So, it's Bow Witch Bats. We got an E-Drag way up in the north, getting some nice value. That'll funnel out the whole right-hand side of that 12 o'clock compartment. We got a little baby dragon and some loons funneling out the left. You can see what we're trying to do here. We're just funny funnel everything in from between 10 and 11 through the core of this base. Now, it's all singles, so you can see why we decided to go with bats and we decided to go with witches because singles against either of those two just doesn't work. Here we go. Everything's down. Like... Everything is down, other than a couple of cleanup troops. But otherwise, like, like everything's on the map. Holy moly. Everything is making it through into the core as well. We got a Super Dragon as a CC troop. Super Dragon for Go Godfather, Lil Hammer Time. Um, Super Dragons, when did they come back in? I thought they'd stopped being used in the game altogether. But no, you're sticking with it, man. GG, well done. Uh, everything's made it through the core. We've got loads of witches on the outside, either side. They're doing some nice work. The queen and the warden over there. The yetis from the log launcher over on the left-hand side. Even the king is still up. He's about to go down, but the king is still up. Here come the bats. It's wrecked. How quick was that attack? I didn't even check the time. It's like a minute and a half. Ooh, man. Happy. I love it. I mean, the bats, you didn't need them, to be fair. Like, you literally could have swagged every single bat. Didn't need one of them gg my friend well done and our next header it is i'm going to say this wrong i think it is shazadimani if i said that wrong i apologize but i love this strategy this is one of my favorite town hall 11 strategies golems super archers and a little bit of bats sprinkled on the top just to finish off it is so good i worked it out i've been doing this for about a week now i worked it out i have a 98 percent hit rate using this strategy it is crazy good uh pilot gaming actually turned me on to this and then i saw the under eights and supreme using it been using it ever since on my town hall 11 it is brilliant look at the value he's getting here so the king has gone walkies it's not the end of the world though those super archers the key is you get some of those walking around the outsides of the base they have a huge range i think it's like 11 or 12 tile range they have so they outrange most defenses they're just going to go on for days and days king Warden, Golems, Log Launcher, all that plowed into the middle of the base. We'll clear out the core. And then nine times out of ten, your bats are kind of finishing off. I mean, I want to say the last like 20%, 25%. Now they're coming down a bit early here, but didn't need them to be that early because we've still got the Warden's ability. Still got the, key, the Queen going. Like this could have been done probably without the bats until the last 10%, I think. Super Archers are still up. I mean, this is ridiculous. If you haven't tried this attack strategy, I did a TikTok on it recently. Check it out. I'll put it. I'll put a link in the in the description. It is so strong. You have to try this. And Shazad Dimani, thank you very much for showing us it on here. I mean, no wonder you guys are getting so many perfect wars in Supreme. If you're pulling this kind of strategy out of your behinds. GG. Well done. And our final hit today. It is Sedant with. I mean, it's something I don't show on the channel very often. Let's be honest. I'm a bit of a loather of zap witch zap drag zap most things but this is beautifully done i mean look at the value that we get from the zap spells manages to get so much damage on the queen takes out the multi takes out the single it's a great start to this attack let's be honest and it leaves the rest of the base looking like it's funneled so nicely for the attack that's coming look we've got golems down either side and right in the middle over on the left hand side big old spread of those witches Plus the log launcher and the heroes and everything down and behind. Normal wall breakers. No super wall breakers. None. Nada. Zilch. Normal wall breakers. Sedant is saving. Saving Dark Elixir for a special occasion. I don't know if he is. He might be. I don't know. Uh, ask him. Don't ask me. Look. Ooh, this is the kind of thing. Let me be very clear about this. When you're running these kind of strategies, you don't want your all your witches going into the core of the base. Yeah. You want them pathing around the outsides of the base. With your heroes, your CC troops, your siege, your siege machine, and 
a few of your troops into the core. You want a big bunch of them either side because those witches will do a whole ton of damage if you get it right. And they're killing it. The core of the base is gone. The town hall is gone. There's outsides, the extremities, they're being mashed up by these witches. This is, it's done. You can already see there's there's still 30 odd percent left. And you can see this is already a triple. We got an expo up. That's it. Nothing else can take out the rest of this base. We've got a queen ability, which can finish it on her own. Sedant. I'm not a fan of that witch. But that was beautiful. Even I have to admit that that was a beautiful attack, man. Well done. Absolutely murdered that base. GG, my friend. And that is it for another video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bastard Gaming. See you later.